We celebrate Laudato Si this week, the encyclical that Pope Francis wrote five years ago on appreciation for all of God's creation and our duty, our vocation, to care for it. Just as we are to love and care for all people, we are to love and care for all creation. Pope Francis writes, because all creatures are connected, each must be cherished with love and respect for all of us as living creatures are dependent on one another. So today I'm sharing with you some images of a place I go to celebrate God's creation, to be refreshed, sometimes to be consoled by the water. I live near Lake Erie, where neighborhoods access the lake through private beach clubs. This is the stretch of the lake that I call paradise in every season. The challenge of keeping the lake clean is enormous and sometimes really discouraging, but I walk along with a bag in hand to pick up what litter I can and trust that the little I do does make a difference. When we are overwhelmed by how broken life seems in these days, with isolation from people we love and cancellations of events and plans, this little stretch of shoreline reminds me that I cannot fix the huge problems, but I can do my part to bring a little more beauty and well-being to what is near at hand. I'm reminded that I am part of the creative work of God. And that is treasure enough, reason enough to sing praise to God. I'll conclude today with reading a poem from an Ohio native, Mary Oliver, whose appreciation of nature and gift for describing it delights, moves, and inspires many. Laudato si, Signore. From my corner of paradise, my own backyard, I'd like to share a poem from Mary Oliver with you today from her collection, Why I Wake Early. This poem is titled, Where Does the Temple Begin and Where Does It End? There are things you can't reach, but you can reach out to them and all day long. The wind, the bird flying away, the idea of God. And it can keep you as busy as anything else and happier. The snake slides away, the fish jumps like a little lily out of the water and back in. The goldfinches sing from the unreachable top of the tree. I look, morning to night, I am never done with looking. Looking, I mean not just standing around, but standing around as though with your arms open and thinking, maybe something will come, some shining coil of wind or a few leaves from any old tree. They are all in this too. And now I will tell you the truth. Everything in the world comes at least closer and cordially. Like the nibbling tinsel-eyed fish, the unlooping snake, like goldfinches, little dolls of gold fluttering around the corner of the sky of God, the blue air.